Hey everybody, this is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the stock WordPress dashboard and all the stuff that you can do within the dashboard. After you log into WordPress, the first thing you see is the dashboard. And this is what it looks like if you don't have any extra plugins that add functionality to the dashboard. So you have up here, the at a glance box, which shows you how many pages you have published, how many drafts you have, and upcoming pages that are gonna be published if you have some scheduled. Right now you see we only have 17 pages on this site. Had we had other posts and upcoming um, scheduled posts, they'd show up in here as well. And it shows you which version of WordPress that we're running, in this case 4.1.1, and we're running the 2014 theme. So it gives you a quick at a glance um, summary of your site's activity. And below that, we have the comments, comment activity. As you can see, there's a lot of spam comments. Those are on every site, unless you have plugins installed to prevent them. And on the bottom right here, we have the WordPress news. This is just new information about WordPress uh, that, that's pulled in from the WordPress blog. It's pulled in from WP Tavern, and it's pulled in from Matt Mullenweg's blog. Matt Mullen Mullenweg is, of course, the original coder of, of WordPress, the original, original creator. So this is just general news information. And then we also have the quick draft. So if you think of a post idea that you want to do in the future, you can just quickly add in the title. So we could say, I want to write about airplanes and then give a quick description and click on save draft. And then that will be a save draft which you can then go and write the full article for later, but you can get the ideas out of your head and make sure you don't forget them. And there's also up at the top, a screen options panel, which allows you to turn off any of these components. So if you never want to see the WordPress news, you just uncheck the box WordPress news and it disappears. If you never want to see the quick draft, check that box and it disappears. And what you're also able to do is rearrange things. So if you wanted at a glance to be above the quick draft, you just drag it and drop it over there and you can rearrange however you like. And there's also additional plugins, like there's a Google Analytics plugin that will show Google Analytics stats right in your dashboard. There's a Jetpack plugin, which shows all kinds of stuff in the dashboard as well. And there's speed testing plugins that show you your site speed, and there's any number of plugins that add custom functionality to your dashboard so you can get a quick overview of what's going on in your site. Thanks for watching. This is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you get all these awesome new videos for free. Like us on Facebook and Twitter or follow us on Twitter. Share this stuff and let's up your WordPress game. And be sure to check out our blog, wplearnlab.com, where we write daily about all things WordPress. I'll talk to you soon.